In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a virtual table using a virtual connector provider. In this example, I want to connect my SQL database to Dataverse. All my product data is in SQL, but I am building mobile apps for my team to use to make restock requests when working in the field. My product list has been growing for years in SQL, and I use this with other client applications, so I really don't want to move into Dataverse. I just want to access my data. So now it's virtual table time. I want to keep all my work together for my app, so I'm going to start in a solution I've already created for this purpose. You can also make virtual tables from the table menu without using the solution. I choose to create a table from another data source, and then you can see this great wizard pop up. It's gonna take me through all the steps that I need to connect to my data. From here, I can create a virtual table for any of the sources indicated. If your source isn't listed, you'll have to manually create a virtual table using other connectors. Please see the online documentation how to do this. In my case, I'm going to create a connection to SQL. If I already had a SQL connection available, I could just pick it and use it. I'm going to pick SQL authentication credentials, but you can pick from any in the list. The data you need for authorization will vary slightly depending on which one of these you choose. I provide my credentials and details to access the server and the database I need. After this, I refresh my wizard. I pick my connection and I choose to manually configure my connection reference. Connection references are used by Dataverse to interact with the connection. If you want to give it a more friendly name, you can choose to do this. Otherwise, it'll just be named for you. I'm going to let Dataverse name it, so I click Next. I see a list of all the tables available on my database. I pick Products and choose to configure the table. I can change the name of my virtual table, pick which field is my primary field, but this is limited to strings, and rename any of my columns to better match my Dataverse schema. If I click Quick Format Names, Dataverse will provide alternate names for fields that aren't user-friendly, like how it removed the table prefix and the period from name. I click Next. I confirm the table I want to create and click Finish. After a few moments, my table is created, and I'm automatically taken to the new table where I can see the contents of my SQL table. I'm done. My SQL table can now be used in Power Apps, Flows, or any other Power Platform feature. Next up, we're going to be using the virtual table in relationships and build a quick app. 